Hey guys, welcome back to some guys from Palette bringing you more Dark Souls 3 guide and walkthrough. And now we're at the Cleansing Chapel and we're going to make our way up this tower. Yes, so we're going to continue where we left off and we're going to go this way. What I have on here is... We're going to take the torch out. We're not going to really use our buff this episode, believe it or not. We're going to need the torch and you're going to see why shortly. First, we're gonna take out these guys. I think I showed this in the last part. I'm not sure. But there's an SS shard, just in case I grabbed it outside the episode. And now we're gonna go down here. Oh, I didn't know I died right here. Oh, yeah, I was doing online. I was playing some PvP. That's what happened right there. And I lost. If you <laughs> there was like two of them. It wasn't gonna be a good day. Early on, at least I feel like two on one really makes a huge difference. So does it does late game, but I feel like you actually have a better chance late game when your when your build is really strong and you're able to like almost like two or three shot anybody. These guys are really weak to fire. They pretty much get in a flinch if you do it enough. I actually don't know what that item does. What does that do? Where is it? Oh, it's a talisman. Of course it is. Does it do anything cool? Oh, uh, that's actually pretty good. It has a healing effect. My sword is doing a lot of damage and then... So yeah, pretty much that's my combo. I'm using Uchi to kill. And using torch to do the damage. Honestly, this combo was given by Herman. We had, I just never played the game, but when I was just using just the torch, and uh, he told me like, "Why aren't you using the torch in one hand and using the sword in the other?" And I just sat there like, "Why aren't I? Why am I not doing that?" We're gonna have to kill this guy. There we go. And we're gonna make our way. There's another one over here. Who thinks he's slick? Oh, maybe he is slick. I'm not giving him credit. Nope, never mind. Ain't slick enough. There's a crystal dragon over here who we're not gonna take on just yet. We're gonna go up here and get some items. Tight nice shard, all good and dandy. We just wanna make a note of this room. Where is it at? Over here, right as of right now, it has no purpose, anything in here really of value, but there is a staircase up there that we can kick down later that'll make this place kind of like a shortcut. Let me get back our staff real quick so we can buff our sword while we take on this drag, this lizard. This will be the first time we've seen this guy in our playthrough. Be careful. He can be actually pretty dang deadly. Uh, his back is kind of like a weak point. Mainly because, not because he's actually weak to it, but he has no really crazy attacks that he can do in the back. That's like... It's the most dangerous move, to be honest. He's they're not that bad. Titanite scale, which is definitely good for later level ups or even when you use a uh, enemy level up. So those are important. You want to get your torch back when you're back here, unless you're a pyromancy build. Pyromancy has a fun time here. Poison Bite Ring, you can use that. We might actually need that later for Pharaoh Keep. It would be much appreciated, for sure. And I think we pretty much got everything we want to get over here. I'm trying to think. Yes, we did. So we're going to get this over here. Oh, oh, and I missed the item. And now we have to run back and go get it. Are you kidding me? I 
I actually forgot what's up there. I think there's a High Knight Shard, if I'm not mistaken. Which actually we do need, because we want to level up our Katana a little bit more. I did grind a little bit off screen, so if you want to follow my build, here it is. It's not that great yet. I'm not that impressed yet. But like I said, Faith Build is going to get really good late game. And we don't really know, need to go to the bonfire right now. We kind of just go through. Right here, we're just going to run past everybody that we can. We're going to take this way right here. I think there's an item. This guy's blocking it. Let's go around and get it. And we get a great sword. So we got four. Why is my music so low? I need to check that real quick. Because I don't like it being so low. Is it off? No, it's just it's just not on. That's really weird. I want some music. I didn't realize souls can be this quiet sometimes. There's an item over here that we're going to get, but once you do, there's going to be a horde of them coming to get your life. And we better run. Now the Executioner, great act, is a great strength weapon you can use. You go up here. And we can, uh... Fall stab, leap stab, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what we call it. I think there's another item we forgot over here. Do we? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just crazy. And we're gonna die for this. I think someone's invading my world actually right now. It actually kind of makes sense since we're like embered up. Ah, sometimes these guys. Just get in your way. It's not a problem about them sometimes. Up, oh, that guy. He is invading. We are getting an invader, so we have to be a little bit careful around here because there's gonna be a guy that comes. If you guys just want to enjoy the game. You can kind of just play offline. You'll be all good. But I don't mind small challenges like that. Hey, hey. You gotta get rid of you. Oh, there's a magic build. Okay. We have a chance. Okay, we've got to step up. You got kind of lucky right there. What the heck? Okay. He only needs a couple hits in. There we go, we got him. His HP was really low. He's actually keeping me pretty good away from a uh, keep away game. Give him that. Got that a great shield. Let's see how it looks, or stat-wise. I don't know if it's really that great. Of course, a lot of strength. Look at that, 34 strength. It doesn't even have 100% anything. This could be used for... I guess I've seen some weird builds with, like, shields fighting. So, you could. Definitely could. But, I don't know. I don't know if I would recommend that. Let's get our AP back up. Yeah, I was just thinking. I'm just thinking right now. That PvP guy was really not that much of a problem. Rusted coin, which we can use to increase our luck. 
so we can get uh, drops better. We might want to back up just so we can make this guy drop. He's going to come forward. And we don't need our torch anymore, so we can actually get back to our thing. Hey, no, I don't want to log on to you. Back up from this guy because he's going to explode on us. Yeah, we broke his shield. Man, I feel like I did this map a hundred times because of the. Uh... Can I roll in there? I actually never noticed that place before. But I never noticed that place. Can I just go down there? I kind of just want to see what it does. Oh no, I know where this place is. Okay, I just never seen it in that angle. I don't know if that was worth it. Uh oh, this guy's trying to hug us. Okay, this guy's trying to hug us too. Just you and me. View. Step away. Oh wait, I didn't know it was gonna be that long. And should be done for now. There we go. We actually need to run back up there because we. Uh, I didn't know about that place. Well, I did, but I seen it in a different angle. I would strongly recommend don't ever be afraid to use your embers. I was afraid when I was first playing because I was thinking like, oh, I need them. You kind of do, but definitely something you should be afraid to use. There's no, like, real punishment for doing so. Be careful, there's a little ambush right here. So I'm going to pull out my shield. Oh, they can really put the damper on you, but they're easy to kill. And the item you get there, you could honestly leave it alone. Not even worth it. The trouble. I'm always going to go back up here because I think there's an item I missed. And he's going to blow up. What else is gonna do? And let's see if there's something over here worth of value. No. So now we can make our way back over here. Don't be afraid to use your flask because we will be getting a shortcut soon to the bonfire again. Can I lock onto him? There we go. Hey, Let's be careful now. Wow, okay. Hate slow attacks. What say about, say about that, guys? Oh. Holy snack. Look at that teamwork. Was that not teamwork, guys? Was that not teamwork? Back up a little bit. Lead them to the stairs or something.
I like how the video clip ended right where we finished them. Kind of funny. There's an, uh, if you thought that ambush wasn't good enough, there's more here. There's two more. This one's not really a problem. I'm trying to make him drop. And this one drops kind of next. Maybe get the nice backstab. Quick around them. They're not so bad alone, but when they're like in a group, they can seriously do some work and damage. We go up these stairs. Pretty sure there's not them up here. Nope, this absolutely pointless. Items places like this kinda make no sense, because like why did you make this? Did you make this just to piss us off? Probably. These people can be seriously annoying. There's another one too. I don't think it's just her. Oh, I never got her weapons before. I can't want to use them. Let's see how they work though. Dual wielding. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna try them on him. Use your own weapons against you. Oh crap, it's a slow roll. Okay, we gotta run, because I didn't know I had a slow roll. I should have been paying attention. Now we're gonna die. Crap. And she's gonna keep coming too. Isn't she? Persistence. Oh my god, persistence. There we go. Okay, whatever. Let's change to not that. There we go. I didn't know they were so heavy. I don't know. I guess they could be cool. I just don't see much of value. A little awkward. Where did she go? I don't know where she went. She's going to pop through a corner and ruin our day and get rid of our 20 souls. That's how it's going to happen. She's got to blow yourself up. That's fine. Three souls, to be honest. There's one over in this corner right here. And honestly, if you're low like me, well, actually, we have a one flask, so maybe we can go take on these guys, have a little bit of fun. guy behind this corner. I'm gonna back up away from him. And let them blow themselves up a little bit. Another one blows himself up. That's fine by me. Kinda quickly slide in for those quick attacks. Now it's just him. There we go, now we got everything. So yeah, never be afraid to back up, because sometimes that can honestly save your life in many ways. We're almost to the next checkpoint. We've got a spear. And amber. That's fantastic, actually.
There's a big guy right here, chilling. Just saying hi. I wonder if you could be that guy. What would happen? I never tried this before. So, what happens if we pull out our bow? Can we just kind of let out our anger right there? What's he gonna do? What are you gonna do? You get mad? Don't blame you. Okay, we probably should have not pissed him off. To be honest. We might actually die because he might oh, try to kill us now. Watch out for these guys over here. They could be a real problem. Try to avoid as much of their fire as we can. Mainly because we got this checkpoint right here. Absolutely lovely. You can quickly just run around them and get that nice backstab. To all of them, pretty much. They're really slow, easy to do. I run past them to get a better angle at them. Kind of face them on my own turf. And now we're having a shortcut down below. I believe there might be something around here. I always felt like this was a visible wall here, but it's not. But alas, it's not. And this shortcut will be the side door of the bonfire. We can rest up, much needed rest. And with that being said, guys, I'm gonna end this episode here, and we're gonna pick up right where we left off next time. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode, and I'll bring you more. Guides and walkthroughs of Dark Souls 3.